Yo, hello guys, before the video starts, I just want to let y'all know that the PS5 DualSense controller has a different type of USB port, as y'all, some of y'all may know, it looks like this, it's like the type of USB port like you plug into your keyboard, rather than this, which you used to use with your PS4 controller, and yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that if you only buy the controller, there's no cable that comes with it, so make sure you get a type C type of cable. And yeah. Hello guys, today we'll be making a video on how to set up your PS5 controller. First thing you want to do is open up your Steam. After your Steam opens, then make sure you put it on big picture mode. Bang, blah blah blah. This happens. You want to, you're gonna want to click this. You're gonna want to click controller settings, and then you're gonna want to. Um, so this is this is the Dual Sense controller. I already have it set up. But what you want to do is, some people say to turn these all on because it doesn't hurt. But like, I don't know. I just keep this one on. But you guys can turn all the controller configurations on if you guys want doesn't hurt you're gonna wanna do oh hold on my bad guys what you wanna you're gonna wanna set up the button so this is X this is circle triangle X start um the PlayStation button this is touchpad Left stick click, right stick click, left, um, L1, R1, D-pad up, D-pad left, D-pad down, D-pad right, left stick, um, left and right, left stick up and down, right stick left and right, like you're just gonna want to move it like, like this up and down left trigger right trigger y'all get it and yeah you're gonna want to like save it it's gonna give you like an option to save it and like matter of fact let me let me do it with you guys um I think let's say i click this i should only have to click one there we go now it's gonna give you like an option to to save it you guys are gonna want to save it you're gonna name it whatever you want and I would set it up as a PlayStation 4 controller you could also set it up as generic gamepad but yeah set it up as PlayStation 4 controller and then yes upload and yeah like you just name it like look I'm about to do it name it dual sense and then pow gonna be right here see um, I think you can do other stuff like change like the colors on how it's like but like the dual sense is not really like the PS4 controller so like you can barely see that color y'all know what I'm talking about the, like touchpad um after this what you guys are gonna want to do is you guys are gonna want to go back to normal screen mode here I don't really like know how to work Steam, so I'm gonna just reopen it. And then you guys are wanna wanna click games, add a non-Steam game to my library, and you're gonna wanna run Epic Games Launcher. Once you guys do that, that I, since I already have it set up, you guys are gonna wanna make sure that Epic Games Launcher is not open. They're here, or in your task manager, you're gonna wanna like I'm done your tax manager you're gonna want to make sure it's not open in the background or any of that and you're gonna open it with this you're gonna go in your library it's gonna say epic games like look my epic games launchers right here you're gonna click it and then it's gonna open up Once it opens up, 
don't want to launch it, obviously. Now you can close out his team if you want. It doesn't matter because it's still going to be running in the background. So you can close the little tab for it. that like little icon on the top on the bottom right pops up and you guys are set it should be working look right now I'm moving it around with the controller let me show y'all this is all with the PlayStation 5 controller See, I'm moving perfectly fine. And then I'm gonna just build a little so you guys can see that you can actually build. Okay, yeah. Everything works perfectly fine. The only thing is like, it's like, it might be like a little delayed, guys, because like, there's like no drivers for the controller yet. So yeah, you guys are gonna like have to deal with that for a little bit. But once they add drivers for this controller, it'll probably be really good. Cause it's like sometimes like you can feel like a lot of input delay since it's like not optimized yet. But yeah, other than that, it works perfectly fine. See? So bad. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications and I'll catch you guys in the next video.